I think I've said multiple times that uh, you're never going to get me into space. After seeing Gravity, Interstellar, and Apollo 13, I don't even have any desire to work at Mission Control because their job seems like hell also. Apollo 13 was released in 1995, directed by Ron Howard, which focuses on the successful failure known as the Apollo 13 lunar mission. This involves astronauts Jim Lavelle, played by Tom Hanks, Jack Swigert, played by Kevin Bacon, and Fred Hayes, played by Bill Paxton, as they are on a course to land on the moon, but their oxygen tank explodes, and the three of them, including Mission Control, have to figure out a way to basically get them back to Earth safely without them dying. Ron Howard is one of those directors that he's made a lot of good movies and then he's made a few stinkers like The Grinch, but with every movie he's made, they've always been very different, I think, uh, whether it's ranging from Splash, Apollo 13, a Beautiful Mind, Rush, and his upcoming Moby Dick story in the Heart of the Sea with Chris Hemsworth in the role. I learned about Apollo 13 and Ron Howard in general because before Jimmy Fallon was the like co-host on the studio tour, uh, the videos would always introduce Ron Howard as the star telling audiences about the Universal lot. And occasionally more footage would come in talking about his experiences working at Universal, whether it was on The Grinch or Apollo 13. So that was my main exposure to him as a director. And it took me a while to actually see Apollo 13 from beginning to end. I saw a little bit of it uh, many years ago, but I didn't remember it. And I don't think we ever finished it. But I just recently watched it again. And it is a fantastic movie, like, hands down. Uh, it might be his best movie that I've seen. I mean, I really love Splash and I love Rush, but... Apollo 13 is really, really good. It's filled with a lot of things that you'd expect from a Oscar-type movie without feeling like Oscar bait. You have terrific performances from your three leads, uh, Tom Hanks, Bill Paxton, and Kevin Bacon. And your supporting cast is also good, like from people like Ed Harris. And the way the movie builds tension once the mission goes to hell is very interesting. Like, you are very fearful for these for the lives of these three astronauts because we care about them. They, these actors have such great charisma and we like these guys that we want to see them get back to Earth. And I mean, I know this is a true story, so anyone who knows the true story knows exactly what happened. But even then, it's like, please get them back to Earth. And sometimes throughout the movie, I was reminded of Captain Phillips, which made me wonder, did Captain Phillips, even though that was based on true story also, take some pointers from... Apollo 13 in terms of how the movie was made. It's not just the fact that both movies feature Tom Hanks, but both movies take place in a very isolated area with two parties um, on different sides. Like in, like on one side you have uh, outer space or the ocean, and on the other side you have mission control and the Navy SEAL vessels. Like Captain Phillips, there are points uh, in the second half of the movie where it starts to get a little boring. Like, the way Captain Phillips felt like um, a Navy SEAL uh, training montage, training video, uh, Apollo 13 also sound, also Apollo 13 feels very much like a NASA training video also. I mean, this was one of those movies where NASA was fully involved. They got support from NASA. However, Apollo 13 manages to make the quote boring segments where Mission Control is trying to figure out how to get the astronauts home work because most recent space movies that I've seen, uh, Gravity and Interstellar, even though there are science fiction elements to that, have always shown the side of the story where the astronauts are in space and I've always been like, man, I am really grateful I decided to not pursue a career in being an astronaut. But Paul 13 shows uh, the other side of the coin where here's how difficult it is to be at Mission Control trying to fix this situation while you have three guys out there floating around in space that you're praying to God don't die. So it's really fascinating that uh, we have a space movie that shows both sides of the situation. When the astronauts are trying to 
figure out how to get home. And he ha- they have mission control telling them, hey, do this, uh, try this, see if it works. Like it can get, re- it's really interesting and often intense. There's one thing that I really didn't like. Uh, you could call it nitpicking. Um, I, I definitely think it is because it actually doesn't distract from the movie. But there's one little uh, scene that I think served no purpose at all to the story, literally. It doesn't even get a resolution. There's a part in the movie right before the launch where Jim Lavelle's wife is in a shower at a hotel and she drops her wedding ring into the drain and is like struggling to get it out. She's panicking. Uh, There's no resolution to that. And then we cut to her and a bunch of other people at the launch and you watch that scene and you're like, well, what was the point of that? And you're especially thinking that when the movie ends, it's like, that literally served no purpose. If you cut that out, nobody would have missed it. Nobody would have cared. It doesn't even resolve itself. So why was this even in the final product? But again, it doesn't distract from the movie as a whole because it's wonderfully directed has great performances from all the leads. The score by James Horner is really good. Some of the effects and cinematography is amazing. And it spawned one of the most famous lines in film, which was, Houston, we have a problem, which I'm sure like astronauts use anyway because uh, Mission Control is in Houston, Texas. But regardless, Apollo 13 is a must-see. It's a movie that you need to get off your ass and go see right now. It is truly remarkable and a really inspiring story also. And that's my review for Apollo 13. Leave a comment and tell me what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. What did you think? Like, subscribe, and this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.